And I'd just like to start with, tell me about Brandy. What was she like? How did you meet? She was a beautiful mother. We lived on the same block for four years. My mom and my grand, my mom and my grandmother. We all and her dad all lived on the same block. We're, we lived on Cedar on. Uh, three houses away from each other on opposite sides of the block. She was a good mother of two. She had a two-year-old and a three-year-old. We, uh, we hung out, we started hanging out for a while. We hung out for like a month, and then we started seeing each other. And just things happened. I mean, I moved her into her own place for the first time. I got her own house with the babies, and one thing led to another, and we just decided we were gonna get married and have another kid. Mm -hmm. how, how long did you date for? What, what was the courtship like? We dated, we dated for, we dated, we dated for a good, a good eight months, we dated, we dated, and then we decided we were going to get married. We had our little ups and downs, and I went to jail, and then we got out, and we rekindled our relationship, and uh, she came up to my mom, she stayed up there, and she never left me again until I did my next violation, and then before I got on my next violation, she was gone. Okay. And what was your first reaction when you heard the news? I figured, she, I got out early, I got out on a Wednesday, and I figured I was supposed to get out on a Friday, and, and I figured that she'd show up on Friday. She, that she'd come out of hiding on Friday because she knew I'd be home, and she never did. She never came back out. So I saw, I kept looking and looking, I got blisters and sores on my feet from looking, and just looked and looked, and me and her aunt sitting while we did was look and put up flyers, and went from town to town, and looked and looked and looked and looked, and she couldn't find her. She couldn't find her nowhere. Mm -hmm. And um, when you heard the news, though, that, that she had passed, what was your reaction? She had passed? I'm sorry, she hasn't passed yet, but we have found a body in that exact area. This is news to me. We found a body, yeah, a body was found in an area right near a place where you guys, I guess, spent a lot of time in Rockford Heights. Now, they haven't confirmed that it's her body yet, but it is in the exact spot that you two used to spend a lot of time together. Oh, oh my God. This is all news to me. I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't tell you that. I'm sorry. They haven't positively identified her yet. We, we can't confirm that it's her. It's a female, though? It is a female, yes. With red hair? Uh, that we did not hear. All we know is that it was a woman's body that was found on a hillside not too far from where she lives. When was this? This was about three days ago. Oh my God. I've been here. I've been here. They've had me on suicide watch for three days. I didn't know nothing. Don't know how or what. They said that an autopsy should be here fairly soon, within the next day or two, to confirm exactly who it is, but it is a woman. And it was in a spot nearby that Brandy's father says that you two used to frequent. They didn't say exactly where the spot was, but it was some kind of hillside. And they said that he said it was your spot that you two always went. Does that sound familiar? We used to hang out all over right there on the hills, walk around. She just got her name tattooed right above her bladder to my, put my name on her, and she just tattooed her name on me right here. Yeah, she just tattooed, she did it herself. She tattooed it right here. 
She can't. She'd mind me. My cross her right here, right before I went to jail last time. Is there any chance we could lift up your wrist just to show us that? She got the same thing. You guys were engaged, and no. What the hell? No. I'm so sorry to have to be the one to tell you that they found our body, but of course we know they have not confirmed exactly who it is yet, but we did speak with Brandy's father, who is worried that maybe we were somehow connected to this woman who was found on the hillside because it was a spot that you guys frequented. Man, she was gone three days before I was even arrested. I was, I was still in jail when she came up missing. There's no way. I would never trip my baby. This is insane. That's why we wanted to give you this opportunity to, to speak your piece and defend yourself, but... There's no reason to defend myself. I've nothing to defend myself for. I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing to her. I didn't do nothing but look for her. I'm in here on charges right now for what I'm looking for her. The kids are looking for her. I mean... I'm being accused of doing bad things for, for, for people because of being out there looking for her. Not because I wasn't. I was one of the only people out there looking for her. Her own family wasn't even looking for her. Only, only two people out there looking for her was me and Sonny. That was it, day in, day out, day in, day out. That's all we did was look, look for her. I would never hurt her. That was my baby. We get our life back together. We just got a new house. and we got our house, we're putting back together. No. Sonny has all the letters that I, I wrote her. I, w I wish Sonny would give to the media, give the media my letters that I was writing to her. That I wrote from jail right before I got out. She has all my letters I wrote her. There was no malice in none of my letters. All they were love letters I wrote her about us getting our life back together. She has every one of them. If I'm sure you know who Sonny is. Will you ask her to re release, release my, my letters I wrote her from, from jail? So, so you guys will have them? So you guys, I mean, I mean, that's all the defense I need. I mean, all you gotta do is read the letters I wrote her. Mm -hmm. All they were love letters. There's nothing, nothing, no malice to them at all. Do you know anyone who would want to hurt her? her? No, I went everywhere looking for her. Let's see, that's the whole story. They were all partying one on, on, on the 4th of July weekend. And then her, I guess her brother walked in the be bedroom and they were doing something and she ran out of the house. I mean, that's, I mean, they're, they, they know the story. The cops know the story of what happened. I was gone. I was in jail three days. I wasn't even out. I wasn't even out of jail till three days after she was missing. She was missing three days after I, w I was already locked up for three days. And you don't know anyone who would have any ill will towards her? No. No, no, I don't. Like I said, I wasn't even, I was still in jail when she was missing. I wasn't even, I got out and started, look, kept looking. That's all I did. I wasn't even, I wasn't even, I was still incarcerated. When she ran out of the house, I was on a Sunday. I didn't even get out till a Wednesday. And she wasn't even seen from the Sunday before that. When was the last time you saw her? I, I didn't see her till the, my, before I went to jail. I went to jail three, four weeks before that. I, uh, then I, didn't, I didn't get out till three days after she was missing already. Oh, heavens no, I wouldn't. Oh my God. No. I was, I was, I was still in jail. When she came missing, I'm just still in jail. So I don't know why they even point the finger at me. I, I, I mean, I didn't do nothing but look for her. And why are you in jail right now? Or attempted murder right now. But not against Brandy? No, against people that were assumed to have done something to Brandy. So you were trying to defend Brandy? Yes, I was. That's why I'm here now. Okay. What did they do to Brandy? I heard that they had Brandy hostage, and that, that the Brandy was last seen with these people. So these people, I went, I went and seen these people and had an altercation with them. That was the last. That was, that, was, that was the last time I was in Lake Isabella. Okay. That's why I'm here now. So you're here because while you, because you were out for three days, and in that time you confronted these people. Yes. Yes. And 
and how long are you going to be in here for now? Is it I have to go to trial. Mm-hmm. And I mean, how are you feeling right now? Not being there to search for her and to help look for her. It's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. I sit in my cell. I'm on suicide watch. I mean, that's why they have me in these paper clothes. So I'm on suicide watch. I mean, when this is the first time I've heard of this, I don't even. Uh, I'm still in shock. Oh my God. did speak to Brandy's father who said that you two had had kind of a rough past. I mean, is that true? Yeah. I mean, every couple does. She's 22 years old. I mean, we had a two-year-old and a three-year-old. I mean, I'm 37. Yeah, we had a little bit of ups and downs. I mean, yeah, we did. We had, I, I admit that. Yeah, we had ups and downs, but I would never take her, take her life or even think about taking her life. I loved her. I loved her like no other, man. I loved her like she consumed everything I breathed. I mean, she... I just, oh my God, I just, I loved her so much. And you ever laid a hand on her or anything? No, we had, we had, we had, we had one altercation where, uh, well, I, I, I did, I did once, and you know I mean, I regret it, and I, I was taking, I was taking the classes for her, the domestic, the domestic violence classes, and, uh, and, and, we, and we, we, we were getting back together after that, and we were, we were, we were working things out, but we were still, we were still going to be a family, we were still going to, I mean, we were still trying to have a baby, I mean. Get my letters. My letters tell it all, man. My letters from when I wrote it, when I was done, when, when I was on my last violation about how everything was going to go when we got out. I mean, I don't have letters that she wrote me because somebody stole them out of my house. But uh, Sonny has all my all my letters I wrote. I, I, I wrote her. I mean, no, everything was supposed was going to be fine. You ask anybody besides her dad. Her dad, me, and her dad didn't see eye to eye. But you ask Sonny. You ask everybody. All she was waiting for me was to come home so we get our life back together. So we start doing, we get our life back together. That was it. Then there was no more animosity. We loved each other. We loved each other a lot. We loved each other a lot. I mean, I loved her more than I loved anybody in this whole world. She taught me how to love. I didn't, I didn't know what love was till I met her. Could you go into any more detail on the, the these people that had Brandy, you think, held hostage? I haven't got. I haven't got a court on this yet. I mean, I still have to go to court on this. So no, I'm not going to go into any more detail on it. I mean, I still have to go to court. Why does Sonny have all the letters and not? Sonny has all the letters because they were, they were mailed. They were mailed there, and she and she got them all. She she got all the letters that were mailed to to the house. The house that we were we were building, we, we were putting back together. We, that we were putting back together. She just paid the rent on the house that we were moved back in together. She just paid the bills on the house. I mean, she just got our house all back together where we were moved back into. I mean, so as far as somebody saying that I had something to do with it, that's ridiculous. Because you ask my mother, you ask anybody, you ask anybody besides her father, you ask her sister, you ask her mother, you ask, you, you ask, you ask, you ask, you ask her, her, her aunt, you ask some babies. I mean, you ask some babies if I, if, I, if I didn't love them, they'll tell you yes. I mean, they weren't even my own, but I raised, was raising them as my own. You know what I mean? So you ask any of the other people about, about where, where me, and, me, me and Brandy's relationship stood, and they'll tell you that she was doing nothing but waiting for me to come home. She wanted me to come home so we get our life back together. And then uh, we, we had, she had her house on Pinion, on 2504 Pinion. She was putting her house back together, so when I came home, I had a place to go. She went out and bought groceries. She went out and paid the bills. She went out and paid the rent. She went out and talked to my landlady. Make sure, because we were back one month on our, on our rent because of the dispute that we got into. But we were getting all that back together, and we were putting our life back together. So you ask any of them people if we cared about each other, and they'll tell you, yes, we did care about each other. That's the bottom line, is that fucking somebody fucking in that house that night that she took off on the 4th of July weekend gave her a hot shot. And that's what happened. Have you got that information? Have you guys talked to anybody about that? No, would you like to go into more detail? Well, there was, there, was, there, was, there was other people up there at that house. And you need to go, people need to go up there and talk to the, the people. I already talked to the cops about, about what happened, what I found out what happened the night, 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 night that, that all that happened. So the people need to go up there and find out what actually happened the night she disappeared. No, the, the, the sheriffs don't know what, what happened. They, 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 they know what happened. I'm not going to put it on the media because she was a good mother. She was remembered as a good mother. 
if that is her body up there. And, she, and that's how she be remembered. If the, the cops know exactly what happened like, well, I, from the information. Everything I know, I told the cops. What I found out, I told the police. I told the detectives. So if, if it all comes out to an autopsy and how long she'd been passed, it will really go past beyond before I was even, I was even out of jail. I mean, because I'm sure they can do, they do rigor mortis or whatever test they do do and find out and clear me. Because I was incarcerated three days before, uh, she was missing three days before I, w I was even, I was even uh, let out of jail. I'm sure the test can show that. So I'm not worried about me being, being, being pinpointed for this, because I know the test can come, are, are better, more accurate than that. So, so whoever, whoever did this to my girl needs to be found and put behind bars. That's what needs to happen. Because I know I'm not, I'm not the one that did this. And I know when everything's said and done and all these tests come back, that my name, my name will be cleared because I know where I was when, when, when she came up missing and something happened to her. I was sitting right here behind these bars. That's where I was. That's the, that's the bottom line. Brandy Tanner's a good mother, and if that is her body, she, her, whoever hurt her or harmed her needs to come to justice and come inside here so they can meet people like us inside here, so they can be vindictive. So things can't fucking, so she can be, her, her, her babies can be revenge. This, is not, this, isn't, this isn't right. This is wrong. This is wrong. Whoever, whoever harmed her in any way, shape, or form harmed a good person, a loving person, and a good mother, and they took a mother and, a, and, a, and, a, and, my, and my fiance from me, and it's not fair. It's not fair. That's all I have to say.